Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lovely wave curtain. Um, there's three lots of curtains I did for this job. Um, I also made a Roman blind and it was a lovely job to do, um, a lovely client and it was for a games room and the whole thing turned out really beautiful um, and I was so happy with it. Um, yeah, it looks really lovely. So I'm gonna show you how to make the wave curtain. Welcome back to the Curtain Boutique. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is Sandy here. Um, I'm just going to show you this beautiful fabric that I'm working with at the moment and give you a small, quite a small tutorial um, on how to do this wave curtain. Um, now it does need a press, this fabric, but basically it's quite a nice sheen-like textured um, fabric from designers guild it's quite an expensive fabric i'm not gonna lie okay so this is the fabric um face down on the bench so i've turned up the hem Oops, excuse my finger there i've turned up the hem um and i've overlocked it because it was curling and very fray fraying um, on the edges but it still seems to be curling and it doesn't like the iron so the more I use the iron the more curling it goes so I'm trying not to um, you know touch it too much but basically the um, black outlining is going to go to the bottom so it will sit under here and then it will come down to here and then I shall mitre this corner here and then I will tuck this under so that it will sit just a tiny bit tender because that's too bulky to do too much. And then I'm going to slip stitch over the black outlining. So the black outlining will be over there. I shall pin and slip stitch all the way across. Um, but it is a pain because it does keep rolling. So it's really hard to put loads under because it rolls so much it will take ages to flatten it all. And it seems to be easier when you're just turning under a little bit doesn't tend to, to play up then so that is the plan of action so we've got four widths on here this is where the join is so we've got the lovely um, dark green there and then it goes into that lovely blue and then that lovely top and then all the way along all the colors I showed you I've sewn all the widths together as you can see here I've um, ironed them all out very carefully uh, with a quite a cool iron because it doesn't like the iron this stuff so cool iron always check your fabric with the iron before you start because you just don't know how the iron is going to behave with your fabric and sometimes it just doesn't like it so you have to sort of like be really careful there uh, I've done the finished drop now the first thing you have to do with wave curtains um, you kind of have to do the top first because the wave tape is all set out for you so you have to put the wave tape on where you've got your sort of these are all centimeters so this is your wave tape i'm working with a 16 um wave so you've got eight at the end then it's 16 16 16 and then it will be eight at the very end so it's always an even number and the last um pleat will be a half each end so that will be your return so it's all put down we've got 34 hooks in this one so if you count these there'll be 34 of them so and that includes the one at the end obviously where your return is so that will go around the corner like that that'll be your return so you have to position your tape in to get the curtain to exactly the width you want do your sides pin all your sides in now i'm going to herringbone my sides then I'm going to put my lining in and these are blackout line because it's a cinema stroke games room and they want blackout so that um, you know they're watching films in the day they can have it completely blackout so let's get this herringbone okay, so I've started at the very end here um, and then I've gone in in here and then into this bit here so basically when you go in make sure you're only picking up a very tiny piece of your um your fabric um sorry i'm just so i'll just show you i'm trying to do it with one hand 
So you're just picking up a very tiny piece like this, like a little fibre, because you don't want to you don't want to go through to the front um, and see any stitches on the front. So just very very tiny little piece, um, and then work your way all the way down this seam uh, side rather. So I've laid the blackout lining on to the um, curtain, um, and I pinned this side in where it's all been herring boned all the way down. Um, I've just brought it down to the bottom and I haven't done the mitre or anything yet. I've just brought it down so that it's right at the bottom, literally bar sort of a couple of millimeters. So you, you don't have it right at the very bottom, but in fact, this isn't sitting right, it's sort of like up like that. So by the time that's down, it's kind of like there. So that's there. And then I've started locking in the first width. So what you do is you put the lining on, obviously you get the first width, that's the, the left side that you're working on, and then flip back all the rest of the lining onto the bench, like there, like in a big tumble. And then get the, um, now this lining is uh, extra width, so uh, extra long, so it's like a room height. So what you do is you run it the other way. So you're railroading it where you've got no joints, no lining to sew together so it's completely seamless so we've positioned it on the seam of the actual curtain so you've got um you can see you've got your two colors there and just before you get to the actual seam you start your your, your first stitch which is there and i've sort of gone over and over and over sort of like locking it right in and then just go along every sort of um, eight, oh, actually I've done it about seven there, seven, seven inches or 15, 16 centimetres um, all the way along. Um, my needle's in there. I always use my bent needle for this job because it's kind of like an upholstery needle where you don't have to sort of like struggle with it. So you go in and then in a little bit there. Don't go through to the main fabric, just pick up the seam that part of the seam just before you get to that so that when it's flipped over it will lay nice and flat and then obviously pick up a little bit of black outlining there and then just keep going along all the way along to the top um, when you're doing um, a wave curtain you can go up to here but don't go up to there uh, when you're doing a buckram type curtain you will, you will stop at the bottom of the buckram you don't go any further because you won't get the buckram in sort of thing so you always allow about seven inches or about um, 18, 18 centimetres from the top. So yes, I'm going to lock this in and then carry on with my width. So I'll probably show you how to do, how I do the hem next. So yeah, let's get on. Okay, so I've got the sides pinned in as I showed you. I've got this little bit pinned in here. So that'll all be sewn, that'll all be sewn by hand along the side there. And then I've gone along and um, made a nine and a half centimetre allowance all the way along the bottom. Keep it the same because it looks really nice um, to look at when it's all the same um, sort of width at the bottom. So where it's all kind of like uh, playing up and rolling around, just make sure that you do one area and then another and then go in the middle and flatten that and it will all start to sit quite nicely. I've managed to get it nice and flat. Now I'm not going to iron it. I'm just not going to template. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks beautiful as it is. I'm just going to hand sew it, making sure my stitches are quite small, about just over half inch. Um, not half inch, sorry. Yeah, about half inch, just under half inch rather, my stitches. So I would do one there and one there. So it made them quite small. It's got to be really strong at the bottom. Um, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the hem and the side. And then the next step will be pinning. Obviously this is locked in, so that's not going to move. But I will be pinning along this side uh, before I move it. So I won't move it until it's all pinned. Um, but once I start with a curtain, I, I get to one side, I put it in and then I just take it all the way along. Um, I don't sort of, you know, mess about with it first. I just make it as I go. 
and then it will just move i pin it i move it i lock it pin it move it lock it you know uh, and then it doesn't sort of it won't get um out of shape you know it's all nicely pinned in okay let's get on and do some sewing so now i'm going to show you how to put the wave tape on the top um what i've done is i've um pinned it at at the top but on the reverse of the top so sort of like so it's like at the back of the curtain so this part that I'm showing you now is at the top of the curtain but at the back and the other bit will be uh, at the bot at the bottom of the tape around the back of the curtain so you're not going to see any stitching so I'll show you what I just so I've that's what it looks like on the reverse and then I've just turned it over and then you've got the uh, crease line for the finished drop and then where I'm showing you here is where I'm going to do my stitch line with the machine so this will be put on by mach machine that part of the tape and then the other part will be sewn onto the lining So this is, this is what it will look like on the back of the curtain where that piece will be sewn. And then once I've sewn that, I'll take the pins out um, and then I'll position the lining sort of underneath the tape um, and then pin it back in and then do it all by hand. So it'll look all lovely and neat and bespoke. And then obviously on the front side, you won't see any stitch lines at all. Okay, so I've now um, put the um heading tape on so it was like that and it was just one um it was just put onto the actual face and then i turned it back on itself tucked the cut the um face back to here and then i've taken the lining all the way up so you just see a little bit of the face here and then the lining is tucked under so it looks nice and neat so i pin along here um, so obviously you can't see any stitch lines on the front and now I'm going to um, hand stitch it all along so it's going to take quite a long time but it's worth it because it, you know it's going to look beautiful and bespoke and there won't be any stitch lines on the other side so it will really give it a nice finish. So once I've sewn it all along I will show you the front. Right, so I'm just going to show you the stitch um, I've been using on this curtain. So of course you've got your black outlining and your fabric. There's no interlining in here. Um, and make sure that when you go in, you're only going to pick up the lining and then you go through the little channel. Don't go too far down or she'll touch the face fabric and you don't want to do that. So go sort of just under half an inch through and out the actual fabric in again through and out the fabric through make sure you keep your needle exactly next to the piece that you've just come out of and again be careful you don't go all the way through and that's it and you carry on and then we're finishing here so We've almost finished now. Now we've got to the very end where we have now pinned, um, we've done the herringbone, we've done the hand sewing all the way down to the bottom. We've sewn the side um, in the same colour thread so you don't see any um, unsightly coloured thread. <laughs> and then we've carried on and in fact, I took that thread all the way to there um, and now we're uh, going along. I'm on the very last leg now here and then we're going to finish here. And then that will be everything sewn and then we'll be ready to do the top. Right, so we've got this lovely single curtain in this beautiful fabric from Designers Guild. It's this lovely stripe and it's on a wave track from Evans Textiles and yeah just uh, got it all nice and um, dressed for the room this is a games room so it's for kids um, it's where they watch telly and chill out so we've got lovely Roman blind and then we scan the room and we've got another lovely wave curtain the wave pole, that side, 
and that's all dressed. And then we have the other window, which have got sort of blinds down because they like the privacy. So then we've got another wave pair of curtains. Oh, it's not a pair. This is a full width wave curtain. So it's a beautiful fabric. It's like a lovely textured stripe with all different colours in it. It comes in quite a few colourways. It's lovely. And these are blackout so that if they watch telly, um, joining me today. I've um, <clears throat> really enjoyed putting this tutorial together and I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. Lots of love.